Okay, in this video, we will be balancing out two chemical reactions. Um, as a general rule, first, you'd want to balance out the non-carbons, non-hydrogens, and non-oxygens. Then you'd want to balance out carbon, then hydrogen, then oxygen, and then finally multiply out to cancel out possible fractions. So let's do our first problem. So here, I see one Fe, I see two Fe. So what I would want to do first is simply put a two here in the front. So this way now our, our irons are balanced. Next, because we put a two here, we have two times Cl3. So we have three Cl's, so three times two is six. And so in order to balance out the six, I need to put a three right here because three times two is six. So now chlorine is balanced. Now we have three Mg. We, here we only have one Mg, so we put a three right here. This would allow us to balance out the magnesium. Finally, we need to check oxygen. So here we have three oxygen, here we have three oxygen. So everything is nice and balanced. And you can obviously go back and check. Make sure Fe is balanced, Cl is balanced, Mg is balanced, and O is balanced. So now let's do the second problem. Here we don't have any non-carbon, non-hydrogen, non-oxygen. So it should be fairly simple. So first we need to do carbon. Here we have two carbons, here we have one. So let's put a two in the front. So now carbon is balanced. Next, hydrogen. So here we have four, here we have two. Let's put a two in the front, two times two is four. So hydrogen is balanced. Finally, oxygen. So here we have two, and here we have two times two is four. Four plus two times one is two. So we have six oxygens. So simply put a three here, three times two is six. So this is nice and balanced and let's put a one in the front. So let's actually check this last one. So two carbons, two carbons, four hydrogens, four hydrogens, six oxygens, two times two is four, four plus two times one is six. So everything is nice and balanced. And that's all we need to do for these two problems.